What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstax here. Welcome back or to the channel. And by popular demand today, I'm going to do a full walkthrough tour of my office space here. I did a really cool reel on Instagram. I got a lot of responses and a lot of comments from you guys asking for uh, just a more in-depth walkthrough. And actually Joe Bunn did a response to it as well and did a walkthrough of his office. So I figured it's time. Let's bring you guys inside. Let's check it out. So first things first here, when you get inside, this is my studio space, I guess you would call it. So this is a whore board. Um, it's a European made booth. A lot of people out here have them. Um, I bought this actually uh, before I got my Max booth, but uh, the Max booth ended up getting a really good deal on it through Danny um, at Midwest DJs Live last year. So I picked that up, uh, took it home with me right on site and I'd already had this ordered so I couldn't cancel it. Uh, so it showed up. So now I just have a really expensive piece of furniture uh, for my office setup, but I'm not mad at it. I got this cool textured uh, decorative wall here behind me for monitors i've got two jbl speakers here on some trussing with some just up lights that i don't use anymore use those as just come some kind of ambient lighting there uh, as far as setup this is the exact same setup that i have in my wedding booth this is a rain 70 and two rain 12s and then i've got my backup macbook here which uh, both my macbooks are linked to dropbox so i back up all my music there so i literally am able to mirror both laptops so it doesn't matter if i bring my main computer or my backup out with me they're both identical uh, at all times so that's a super convenient way uh, drew pierce actually hooked me up with that idea to use dropbox for all my backups uh, it's all set up for live streaming and that type of stuff as well uh, i've got a, a mount up here for an action cam so that's kind of a uh, top-down view of everything uh, I've also done some unboxing videos and stuff uh, in this space. And then over here, you can see I've got a light. So this is just a soft box with a newer um, is the brand. So newer is the brand, a newer uh, kind of uh, spotlight here. Uh, just kind of illuminates the space, uh, makes this the video content look a lot nicer. Um, over here on the other side here, this is actually an old skin off of one of my mixers, off my Rain 70 or Rain 62. I thought it was kind of a cool idea to put this in a frame uh, and to display it. So I used that mixer for a long time and I really liked that skin a lot. Um, over here, this is actually a signed pair of Jordan 1s. These are signed by an artist named Quinn92. Uh, he's from here in Michigan. Uh, he's become pretty popular. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. Music's awesome. But I did a meet and greet with him uh, last year. It was actually the concert was the day before my birthday, so it was pretty exciting. But I had him sign my shoes, and I actually even had him record a drop on my phone uh, that I haven't used yet, but I plan on using that in a mix soon. Now over here, this space, eventually, uh, I'm gonna have this 3D printer that's in the box still. I'd like to set that up here. Um, this has another hobby. I'd like to get into some, uh, some 3D printing. And then over past there here is my, uh, my shoe collection, kind of my shoe wall. This also doubles as kind of my backdrop for um, a lot of my Zoom calls and things. And it's a really cool conversation starter with couples when uh, I jump on Zoom and you know maybe the groom's a sneakerhead or something like that. Uh, we can have some conversation about that, which is always fun, nice little icebreaker. Um, mini fridge here, this is a Red Bull fridge. I don't really care for Red Bull, unless it has vodka in it, but I'm a huge uh, ghost fan. So right now it's full of ghost energy. If you or anyone you know happens to have a contact at Ghost. I've reached out to them a few times with no luck, but I'd love to get a Ghost cooler uh, if I could. I spent a lot of money on Ghost, so I love their supplements. I use their proteins, and then obviously their energy drinks are great as well. But as far as my shoe wall, I don't have anything crazy rare or anything. I don't have any Travis Scott's or nothing like that. Just, you know, just a couple pairs of Dunks, some Yeezys, and then mostly Jordan 1s. Uh, that's kind of my, uh, <clears throat> my favorite one. Uh, this this sign here actually so Andrew that uh, shoots a lot of my content for me he actually made this sign for me he has a uh, 
a CNC laser cutter. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, hit me up in the comments down below or shoot me a message on Instagram and I can get you into contact with him. Um, he can make you, make you a sign for your brand or thank, uh, you know, signs for your house or anything like that. Uh, he can hook you up with that stuff and uh, I believe he is able to ship. So if you're interested, let me know. Now over here where I spend probably the majority of my time in this space is my desk. So this is a 49 inch Samsung uh, curved display. I love it because I do a lot of video editing. I'm able to stretch my Final Cut timeline out across the entire screen, which is super nice. It just makes it a lot easier uh, to zoom in on, on things if you're doing longer videos and that type of stuff. Uh, I've just got some older Mackie studio monitors. I've had these things for years, probably over 10 years now at this point. Uh, I'm using a, a Focusrite Scarlet, I think it's like the 2i2 is what I'm using for an interface to connect everything. I've got a stream deck over here, a bunch of external hard drives. I'm also running a Mac Mini. Um, I do want to upgrade to the Mac Studio, but this is a Mac Mini with the M1 chip. Uh, it's been pretty solid so far. Um, I will admit, now that I started editing 4K footage, it, uh, I, I am able to bog it out. So, um, which all I do is just, you know, close down some windows and things like that, but it does the job, gets the job done. I got a secondary monitor up here. What I use this for is I basically just keep my Google calendar up all the time and a couple other windows that I'm frequenting, uh, just like, I kind of use it as like an at a glance monitor so I can just look up there and, uh, check things quickly. Um, up here on the wall, this is the big ass calendar from uh, Jesse Itzler. So he actually spoke at the DJ Collective a few years ago. Uh, super inspiring guy, awesome. But uh, he makes this big ass calendar. Um, this is my first year doing it, but I actually bought these dots. These are, um, they didn't come with it. The post-it notes did, but uh, the dots, I, I added that idea. That's all the events that we have booked and it's all color coordinated based on the DJ. Um, also for Zoom, forgot to mention, I've got an older uh, DSLR that I used to use. Uh, this is a Canon Rebel SL2. Uh, I use that as my webcam. I've just got a 24 millimeter lens on there. Uh, pretty good focus. It does add a little bokeh, so it blurs the background out a little bit, but just looks really sharp. Uh, and then for a microphone, I'm using the Shure SM7B. Uh, Pretty expensive mic, um, mainly designed for podcasting, but I found that it makes your Zoom calls just sound phenomenal. Uh, and I record some kind of talking head stuff as well from here at the desk. Um, that's just on a Gator Frameworks arm. As far as the desk itself goes, I actually built this desk. Well, I built the, built the top myself, um, stained it, polyurethaned it, that stuff. And then the drawers are just a set of uh, drawers from Ikea. And then back over here behind me is just some storage. I got some overflow for backpacks and my, my heat press for when I make t-shirts and camera gear. I got my printer back over there as well. And then over here in this corner, you guys probably can't see it, but down, down here, way down here, this is all my camera gear. So I've got uh, a couple of the Apache cases from Harbor Freight that I keep uh, all my cameras in. And I got another smaller handheld case that I keep uh, a lot of accessories and I got my drone and my gimbal and all that stuff over here as well. Uh, if you guys would like to see a kind of walkthrough of all my camera gear and what I'm using, I'd be more than happy to make a video on all that gear as well. Let me know down in the comments if that's something that you would like to see. But yeah, guys, this is basically the, the tour. Um, sorry, the lighting's not super great in here for this type of content with the can lights shining down. But as far as the space goes, I actually finished this basement myself. So it was completely bare, just concrete walls when I bought the house. And then last winter, my project was finishing the living room, uh, which is the space that I came in from, uh, which is about a 24 by 24 space. And then my office is about 14 by 24. So a pretty good size space. Uh, I'm happy with it. I got a lot of a lot of room to move around in here and uh, get things done and just feel feel productive without feeling crowded and uh, you know, having a DJ setup set up all the time is super nice. So if I ever want to just jump on and mix for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, it's already there. There's no excuses. It's just flipping the laptop open and uh, opening up Serato and getting it going. So, um, yeah, guys, if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, last thing I want to mention, I forgot to mention, is these, these posters here, these signs, or pictures, actually. So these are from a company called Elephant Stock. So I ordered those from there. But we got Kanye, Lil Wayne, 
Post Malone. And then over here is a different one. So this is actually, you know, Biggie is back over on this corner. Uh, that one's a little bit different. But uh, yeah, if you want to check those out, I got those from a website called elephantstock.com. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new around here, please subscribe, click that like button, click that notification bell. And if you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments. Peace. Oh.